In 2019, my brother and I did a DNA test to have a look at our ancestry. And, you know, we were just keen. A lot of people were doing it at the time. Uh, would I do it now? Possibly not. Now that I know how psychopaths around the world use our data and um, possibly our DNA as well. I probably would not have done it now, but I did it back then when it was trending and um, a lot of people were doing it. There are lots of different providers of it. So, uh, you know, we both did it as well and we were just curious and um, I'll show you my results in this next clip. My DNA results show four regions and here you can see them. Now, this has actually changed a little bit over the years. I've, I sometimes check in, you know, periodically, like once a year or something, once or twice a year and just see how the data is changing. And before it showed Oman as well, I think it was like one, two, three percent Oman. And now it's showing this other place I've, I've not actually heard of before, Gulf of Khambabat. And it's showing one percent there. And then if you scroll down to the bottom again, it says that it also, the DNA is found in Oman and Pakistan for this region. By blood, I'm a Chahan Rajput, but that information is not found in the DNA results. You might have heard people say that, or you might have seen it in articles and science papers, if you look at them, where people have said that uh, all people who have blue eyes have all descended from one ancestor. And I just wanted to show you in my DNA results that that is not true. Um, we are not the descendants of Alexander the Great, even though my brother has blue eyes. He's come in previous videos as well. He has blue eyes naturally. He was born with them. He wasn't wearing coloured contacts. And also in my extended family, I have many members who have coloured eyes, either blue or green. And that's normal. In Southeast Asia and also in many other countries all around the world, it's not uncommon to find blue eyes or green eyes and you know, to say that everybody has descended from like Alexander the Great or someone in Europe just because they have coloured eyes, that's just simply not true and it doesn't make any logical sense. But if we're going to go back and start connecting ancestors, then, you know, we all came from one man on earth and that's Adam. Obviously, populations have increased over time, so we all did descend from one person and that was him. So we are all related. I, I don't see the need to... Um, and the reason I'm getting a bit worked up over this is because um, the post where I've seen this mentioned just recently was talking about um, Chinese medicine and how the person who came up with Chinese medicine, the first person was actually um, not Chinese and it was someone from Europe. It was um, someone who was Caucasian. And, and then this person had commented that this explains the sophistication of Chinese medicine as if you know, the Chinese were unable without the help of foreign people. Um, and, and that's simply not true. It doesn't make any sense. And, um, and then in the same post, there was this mention about blue eyes and how, you know, everybody has descended from this, from one person. Um, and usually that person is mentioned as Alexander the Great, but um, yeah, it's, it's not true. Even if it's in a science paper, that doesn't automatically make it correct. You know, a lot of scientific papers are... There, there's a lot of corruption in that industry as well. There's a lot of corruption in the research industry and they're not often uh, validated as well as they should be. A lot of those papers are not and there's often conflicts of interest of all sorts, whether that's political or whether it's, um, you know, something else, whether it's money-driven, etc. Even though they have to often... Um, disclaim, add a disclaimer that, you know, those are not conflicts of interest. There are conflicts of interest. Um, so yeah, it's uh, something I wanted to comment on because I read this and, you know, that post that I saw had a lot of engagement. People were saying, wow, really? You know, Chinese medicine is actually from a European man. You know, we, we need to know more about this. And and, and I just thought, why? Like, aren't there better things to be doing with your time than to be indulging in speculation and something that serves a supremacist mindset? Like, why? What's the point? I think it's negative mindset to start thinking that, you know, one kind of race is superior and more sophisticated than another. That is simply not true. There are good or bad people everywhere. Uh, the more you travel the world, the more you see that, that there is no perfection anywhere there's good and bad everywhere everyone is imperfect everyone has 
the strengths and weaknesses and we don't need to drop our selves to you know this sort of um idealization of of some race over another uh, because when you do that it starts to lead to things like genocides when a race starts to feel superior to another and um aren't we seeing those today see you in the next video